If you confess your mess to the Lord, number one, you're not going to surprise God, right? God is never going to say, Oh my goodness, Gabriel, I did not see that coming. I had no idea she did that. I had no idea he said that. No, in fact, God already knows. He's never surprised by my confessions to him. And when I confess them to the Lord, I'm confessing them to someone who has already decided what he'll say back to me. He's not going to say, I'm so disappointed in you. He's not going to say, well, seeing as you've done that, forget our relationship. No. <laughs> the book of John tells us that because of Jesus Christ, he is ready to forgive my sins, to wash me clean with his grace and mercy if I will confess my mess. Check out the new series on praiseandharmony.tv called Come to the Table by Dr. John Mark Hicks. The gospel invites all to the table. The gospel doesn't make a division between rich and poor, slave and free, male and female, black and white, Jew and Gentile. The gospel doesn't make those kind of divisions. The gospel unites at the table, and the table is the experience of communion between the rich and the poor, between the Jew and the Gentile, between the male and the female. In this eight-part study, you'll grow from in-depth lessons about communion. This series comes with PDF study guides and materials for small group leaders or families to use to help facilitate a more meaningful time of learning. I like the way Luther put it. When I am afflicted and a Satan is assaulting me, I don't run away from the table. I run to the table. Because this is a table of mercy. See, God is doing something at this table. I know we don't typically think about it that way. We tend to think about, what am I doing? I'm remembering, I'm proclaiming, I'm eating. But we need to think about what God is doing at this table. Come to the table. Available now at praiseandharmony.tv.